Hey, John Sanmez from simpleprogrammer.com. So I got this question about uh, about training and work time. This is kind of an interesting one. I've gotten a few people that have, have mentioned things about this. I've talked about this a little bit before about kind of my philosophy on this, but I think this question kind of uh, highlights a couple of good points that I'd like to bring up that I think could help you in your career. So I'm actually gonna avoid the name completely on this one just because this is a pretty sensitive topic. So uh, if you ask the question and you'd like me to put your name, I can put it in the description, but I'm assuming you don't want your name on this. So anyway, uh, it says, uh, hi John, first of all, I uh, would like to say I, uh, how much I enjoy watching your videos on simpleprogrammer.com, Pluralsight, and listening to you on .NET Rocks. Well, thank you. Uh, I currently have a gripe at work, which I would like some advice on. I work for a small software company, which has three dev teams of four to five people. My role is leader of one of those teams. The issue is training within work time. The company has a policy, not enforced, that any training should not be done within work time and you should be up to date with the technologies the company decides to move forward with. Whether I agree with this or not, I respect this and spend many hours training, mainly Pluralsight, in my own time. I have a routine of watching 30 minutes before and after work every day and usually watch around two hours on the weekends plus reading on holidays. The problem is many developers ignore this policy and can spend hours a day reading blogs and watching Pluralsight to learn about the frameworks they are being asked to develop in. I find this really frustrating as I spend too much of my personal time learning new frameworks slash languages only for others to get paid to do the same. This makes me feel really angry and like I just want to stop work and watch training videos myself. I can understand that junior devs are allowed leeway on this policy, but some of the people taking advantage here have 10 to 20-ish years experience compared with my four. When I raise this issue, uh, when I raise this issue, I just get told we have no choice as they are not going to learn on their own time, and this is why I am classed as a senior and they aren't. I don't care about titles or the fact that they will be getting paid much more than me. Um, I just find it so unfair. My question is, am I being silly? Is this normal? It uh, seems to be, I seem to be the only person who feels cheated around this issue. What can I do to stop myself from feeling uh, so resentful and wanting to leave? Any advice would be great. Keep up the good work. So this is, uh, <laughs> I have a lot to say on this one. <laughs> well, let, let, let me, to tell you kind of what, what I've always done, my, my basic uh, philosophy is uh, I've always, you know, I've, I've sat there at my job and cracked open a book and read it while at work. And obviously I didn't spend the whole day reading work, but uh, reading a book and I've read, and the book, it was not just like some random book, it was a book related to what I'm working on. Because I believe that part of my job is to uh, figure out how to do my job the best way possible. And so, I could you know, try to fumble my way through a thing because I can't train at work, or I could, uh, and, and spend hours trying to figure out something that I could just look up and learn properly in order to be able to save a whole bunch of time over the course of the project, right? And so someone could tell me, oh, you need to do that on your own time, um, in, in which case uh, uh, my, my answer is, well, uh, this, uh, no, I'm, I'm just gonna say no, right? I'm just gonna do it because, because I'm a professional and I'm going to do my job and my job involves, part of it involves training myself. And, uh, and, and so, so I, I just would not accept that as, as, as an answer, right? Um, in order to be able to do your job efficiently, you need to be able to train yourself as well. And, uh, and, and so that might be on company time, but you're gonna train yourself on company time no matter what, right? Because let's say that, let's say that you have this, this silly policy where you can't train on company time. Okay, so then you need to work in this framework you don't know anything about. Okay, so then you go and you figure it out, but you can't look it up in a book, you can't watch a training video on it, you just gotta figure it out or read the documentation you know, on, on the slide or look things up as you fumble your way through it. You're still gonna be training, 
You're going to be learning it and figuring it out. You're going to be messing it up. You're going to be wasting time, right? All this other stuff is going to, going to happen, right? Until you do go home and, and read the book yourself, I guess, if, if, you're, if you're willing to work for someone for free. Um, but, you know, like, and, and I've expressed my opinion on that. So, so anyway, so that's, that's generally what, what I've done. I've never been in trouble for that. No, no time has some employer, and, and it's probably, probably because I also have done excellent work for them. Um, so no, at no time has an employer come up to me and said, oh, hey, stop reading that book. You can't, you can't, you can't read this book about this thing that you're working on. Um, it, it, would be, it would be silly. And if they did, honestly, you know, I, would just, I would just quit. <laughs> I would go find another job first, but I would not stay in an environment um, that did that. So, so what is my advice to you here? Well, um, I, before I give you my advice, I do want to say that I commend you on what you're doing, right? So, um, so you should be training on your own. Right? This might seem a little contradictory, but you should be spending 30 minutes a day before and after work, you know, reading on your own or watching videos or, or doing all that. You should. You absolutely should because your career is up to you and developing your skills is up to you and you have to take charge of that and you have to do that and it takes more than just working your nine to five. If you really want to have an exceptional career and succeed, I spent countless hours, even though I spent some time training myself at work, like reading, um, I spent majority of my time training myself outside of work and I, you know, I still do. I still am constantly listening to books and constantly, you know, I go through probably like four to five books a month, right? Um, but, and I'm doing that, you know, obviously all my time belongs to me now, but I did that when I was working for someone else and I recommend that you do that as well, which, which you're doing already. But as far as this whole on the job training thing, um, honestly, I would just totally ignore this. I would just, you know, if, you know, from an employer perspective, if someone is so cheap that they won't train their people, they're asking for it. That's just ridiculous. You know what I mean? I, I have employees that work for me and I train them. Like, like and, I, and I say, and they say, oh, no, no, I'm not going to bill you for that. I'm saying, no, bill me for the time that we spent on the phone that I taught you how to do this thing or walked you through this because that is billable time because that is, that is part of your job. Like, I, it's my responsibility to train you. I could have you go and do a job that you don't know how to do and waste a whole bunch of my time or I can train you to do the job. So, I, you know, I, I think from an employer perspective, they should and, and they're, they're really being penny wise and pound foolish if they, if they don't invest in training. Um, a lot of companies invest in spending thousands of dollars training their employees. So, you know, this is uh, definitely something that, um, that an employer should be doing. Um, and and all, in general, I would just say ignore this. If other people are breaking this rule, there's no, you know, there's no honor in, in sticking to this, this rule that is, is, is designed to, um, to take advantage of you. Just, just break it. Just do it. And, and if they fire you, <laughs> I didn't give you this advice if they fire, you know, um, you know, you have to realize that there is a risk to that, right? So that, that could happen. But if you're doing good work, right, honestly, like no one is going to fire you because you're watching some videos that are teaching you. How, like if you're doing, if you're reading like some fiction book or something like that or watching cat videos on YouTube, right, they'll probably, probably, you know, that, that could constitute, you know, something that you shouldn't be doing at work. Um, but, but if you're watching my YouTube videos at work, that's good. No. <laughs> um, but that, that, I guess that would be questionable. That's a, like borderline. But anyway, um, do, just do it. Just do it. That's, that's my advice to you. And, and like I said, maybe, maybe you'll suffer repercussions, but I seriously, seriously doubt it, especially if other people are already breaking the rule. And uh, yeah, it's a silly rule to begin with. Um, you know, don't be like blatant about it. Don't be like, okay, uh, yeah, now it's time for me to watch my plural site videos and, and we'll do training at work. I'm going to go do that. Just do it. Like do it as you need to and, and take the time, you know, heck, come in earlier before anyone else is, is in the work and start your day a little earlier and, you know, leave a little earlier if you have that flexibility and, and do when there's less people around, you know, don't make it so obvious. But, uh, but yeah, so that's, that's what, I, what I would do. And if, if it absolutely comes down to it, I would find another job, honestly. Like, and you're probably, I don't know, like, I don't want to say this, but, but if you're in an environment where the company is not willing to invest in at least training their people, you might even just start looking now. Like, I mean, I don't know, I don't know what other issues you probably are facing there, but uh, that's, that's kind of a critical thing. It's like, you, like investing in your employees is really, really important. So 
Um, anyway, don't don't I don't mean to like open up a whole another can of worms, but but thanks for for the email. I think this is a, a good question. A lot of people have have a, frequently asked things about this, and a lot of people have been shocked to find out that I would be willing to train myself at work, like open up a book during work time. But heck, um, I, I would do it. Uh, I'd recommend anyone do it. And um, if you have an employer that's that's smart at all, they'll realize that that's that that they want to hire people that are willing because most employees won't even don't even care they won't even train themselves they won't even if they're paid on company time to to train or paid to paid to train themselves they still won't do it they they don't they don't care so if you've got someone that's willing to do that to invest in their career uh you should you should help them for sure so anyway great question uh thanks for sending it if you have a question for me uh that that you'd like me to answer so that you can get fired uh email me at john at simpleprogrammer.com and uh, and subscribe to this channel you can watch it at work uh you can tell your boss that i told you that you could watch it at work uh so subscribe and watch watch my videos while you're at work all right take care